Good evening. Welcome to this edition of Northeast Diary. Here we bring you the latest developments from India's unexplored Northeast region. Friends, someone has rightly said, history never looks like history when you are living through it. What important occasion are we talking of today? Today we will learn about the Bangladesh Liberation War in which India played a huge role. History is not just big events like these. History is also made up of timeless moments and memories captured in time by way of art. We will go over to Sikkim and learn about the paintings which are a key attraction in Sikkim architecture. Arunachal Pradesh government has launched the Dekho Apna Pradesh campaign which is an attempt to promote tourism within the state. A report. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu last week flagged off the Dekho Apna Pradesh campaign in the state. Dekho Apna Pradesh is a brainchild of Mr. Khandu and is conceptualized in line with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Dekho Apna Desh campaign. It is an attempt to promote tourism within the state to heal the damage caused by the sector by COVID-19 pandemic. Flagging off the initiative, Mr. Khandu said that as Arunachal Pradesh is geographically a big state, not many of its residents must have visited places other than their workplace or residency in the state itself. So, our potential is tourism. In other countries, there is no potential in any other country in the whole country. So, the tourism industry is one thing that we will invest in the tourism sector. So, our Pradesh is very beautiful and the tourism sector is very beautiful. So, our Pradesh is very beautiful and the tourism sector is very beautiful. So, our Pradesh is very beautiful and the young generation who are in tourism is very beautiful. So, our Pradesh is very beautiful and the tourism sector is very beautiful. So, our Pradesh is very beautiful and the tourism sector is very beautiful. तो ये कार्यक्रम जो है आप सबको पता है कि दो बैचेस में बांटा गया है इस साल का जो इवेंट है और फर्स्ट फेज में होगा आपका तीन बैच का शुरुआत होगा दस दिन का प्रोग्राम होगा जिससे ईस्टर्न वेस्टर्न और सेंट्रल सेक्टर तो फेज टू जो है अभी फिर सिक्सटी बाद में और भी रजिस्ट्रेशन करने के बाद फेज टू को भी हम लोग इसी प्रकार से पिकअप करेंगे तो इस इवेंट में खास करके मैंने कहा कि अपना जो स्टेक होल्डर्स है उन लोगों को टूर ऑपरेटर्स जैसे स्टेक होल्डर हो गए इसके बाद होम स्टे के लोग हो गया ब्लॉगर्स लोग हो गया आप लोग पूरा टूरिज्म का स्टेक होल्डर्स है तो इस कार्यक्रम में मैंने कहा कि सबसे पहले टूर ऑपरेटर्स और आप सबको जुड़ना बहुत जरूरी है अंडर द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ द देखो अपना प्रदेश कैंपेन 60 पार्टिसिपेंट्स डिवाइडेड इन थ्री ग्रुप्स ए बी एंड सी वुड एम्बार्क ऑन अ टेन डे जर्नी ऑफ वेरियस टूरिज्म सर्किल्स ऑफ वेस्टर्न ईस्टर्न एंड सेंट्रल अरुणाचल प्रदेश बट दे वुड लर्न मोर अबाउट द एरियाज कल्चर हेरिटेज food habits and most importantly its tourism aspects. According to Mr. Khandu, this would not only let the stakeholders gain first-hand knowledge of the places they visit, but also get acquainted with local stakeholders and even land up with business deals. For Nordish Diary, this is Rakesh Dole, Air News, Itanagar. A 23-year-old footballer from Merapani village and the Wokha district, Lairon Thung Lotha, became the only Naga footballer to represent the state in the edition of the Hero India League 2020-21. He played last two league matches of the I-League for Round Glass Punjab Football Club on March 21st and 27th, making him the eighth person from Nagaland to play in the National League in one of the top Indian professional football leagues. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Liron Thang Lota played his card against all odds to don Punjab Football Club jersey put in Naklin in the Indian football map. Liron Thang made his debut on March 21 this year as a defender for Ron Glass Punjab Football Club, formerly known as Minerva Punjab Football Club, making him the eighth person from Naklin to play in the National League in one of the top Indian professional football leagues. More from Lirong Tang as he shares his experiences. Hi, my name is Lirong Tang Lota. I come from Merapani village, Nagaland, under Ukha district. I started playing football since at my childhood time. But when I got selected for SAI, Sports Authority of India, Kolakat, Assam, 
in 2010 to get my training. I started to think beyond the boundary. All of a sudden, I got a news for a trial in Mohan Bagan Academy, Kolkata. There, with all presence of God, I got my selection and started my training from 2013 to 2017. I feel so privileged to get trained from one of the non academy in India. After completing my training from Mohan Bagan, I joined Mohammedan Sporting Club, Kolkata, and I also played like Churchill Brother FC Goa. Minerva Punjab FC and Brazen I'm playing for Ranglas Punjab FC. This is how I started my life in football. My journey was not easy but I never lose hope and faith in God. With all years of hard work and dedication and prayer, I finally got a chance to play in I-League this year, 2021, which is the largest football league in India football system. All of this success will not be possible without God. My journey had not been over here, but just started. I look forward to play in ISL and play for national team. I look forward for more support and prayer. Lastly, I urge and encourage young players who are at the beginning of their career in football to never lose hope and faith. Hard work and dedication pay off. Remember, if a village boy myself can come this far, why not you? Despite facing challenges, Lirong Tang, a village boy through his sheer hard work and dedication is achieving his dreams come true by making it to a big platform, playing for I-League matches and making the state Nagaland proud. For Northeast Diary, this is Asunyo from Kohima. India is well acclaimed for our art and architecture. Apart from various schools of art, the artworks made by tribal communities of India have also carved a niche which are most vibrant. The famous tribal arts of India include worldly folk paintings, Madhubani art, Bhil art, Gond, etc. Government has various schemes and programs to promote tribal art in different areas of the country. Our Aizol correspondent has filed this report. The art and painting of Mizoram has a distinctive discourse learning to own culture, tradition and transformation in life and living. The modernity of art is also being practiced by some artists but all of the forms have a common discourse towards self-identity. An eminent artist and curator of Aizol Art Gallery, Mary Lal Thansiami, observed that the tribal art has a big role in development of culture of the state. Talking to AIR News, Lal Thansiami said, Tribal art development is very important for the development of our culture. As we all know that different artists from different states in India are showing off their culture through art. As Mizoram is mostly influenced by the Western culture. So, this tribal art development main aim is to promote and develop our folk art and culture through art. Mizoram also contributes some works towards tribal art development in India. Mizoram artists put some of their works in exhibition held in different art galleries all over India. There are also some feedback of how much they love the artwork done by the Mizo artists and also many of the paintings have been sold through the exhibition. There are still many projects ahead for art in Mizoram such as art workshop, painting exhibition, seminar and study tours such as visiting Mizo historical place. Also for the development of artists in Mizoram, more art schools are also planned to be established. Recently a tribal arts development workshop was held in Aizol virtually and it was jointly organized by Union Ministry of Tribal Affairs and Social Welfare and Tribal Affairs Department of Mizoram. In the workshop, 110 artists from 10 districts of Mizoram participated virtually in six groups and each group presented their work online through multiple sessions. Director of Social Welfare and Tribal Affairs Department A. Vanlal Zoni said that the majority population of Mizoram is tribal and the state government has adopted many programs to encourage and mold the artists to pursue artistic work. She opined that this is a great platform for harnessing tribal development and highlighting own cultural identity. Mrs. Vanlal Zoni further said that the state will set up a tribal research institute this year. According to her, this institute will serve the purpose of preserving and promoting tribal culture and heritage in the state. Under the proposed Tribal Research Institute, they will get more programs and scopes in exhibiting and promoting tribal art and work. For Nordis Diary, this is Irene from Aizol.
The nation celebrates Vijay Divas on 16 December every year to commemorate the decisive and historic victory against Pakistan in the 1971 war which had resulted in the largest military surrender after World War II. On this momentous day, over 93,000 Pakistani troops raised white flags and surrendered unconditionally at Dhaka in the presence of three tri-service theatre commanders of Indian Armed Forces. A Shilong correspondent has more on this. From 16 December, the nation is celebrating 50 years of India-Pak War, also called Swarnim Vijay Verse. Various commemorative events have been conducted across the country wherein war veterans and virnaris are felicitated and events like band displays, seminars, exhibitions, equipment displays, film festivals, conclaves and adventure activities are planned. The events are being conducted by the Indian Army, the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy with close coordination with paramilitary forces, state government and civil societies. The event will involve common citizen participation with focus on school or college students and NCC cadets at national and state level. As part of the victory celebration, weapon and equipment display, also known as Know Your Army, was held at Shillong. The main objective of this program is to motivate the youth to join the Indian Armed Forces and serve the nation. The weapon and equipment display was inaugurated by officiating officer of 101 area, Major General H.S. Sahanbagh. On the occasion, various weapons were displayed for the students and general public. Defense PRO Wing Commander Ratnakar Singh said that this kind of program helped motivate the youth to join defense services and also it creates awareness like how to join the defense services. To commemorate our victory over Pakistan in 1971 war, the armed forces are celebrating Swarnim Vijay Varsh across the country from its length to breadth. At Shillong, the 101 area, the Eastern Air Command, the Assam Rifles, all who have been part of it in that time, we are having a static display here in Polo Grounds. The display showcases the various equipments which uh, the armed forces are using. We have put the models of the latest uh, aircrafts, the latest weapons of the Air Force, the equipments of the Assam Rifles. They are all are put up for the display here. I hope the children who are coming here and visiting these stalls, they will learn a lot about the armed forces and its uh, glorious history and present and it will motivate them to join the armed forces and uh, they will understand the sacrifice, the valor which our troops have displayed in 71 war and I'm sure they will take something from here. A number of sophisticated weapons used by the armed forces including the Indian Air Force, the Indian Army and the Assam Rifles were displayed for students, NCC cadets and the public. The celebration will continue with other programs all across the region. This is Rustam for North East Diary of Shillong. Tripura played a strategic role in the Bangladesh Liberation War and thus this northeastern state always remained very special to Bangladesh as well. In order to showcase and relieve the contributions made by Tripura every year, the Independence Day of the neighboring country, which was celebrated on 26th of March, is also observed with great enthusiasm through several programs in different parts of the state. Our Agartala correspondent Reena has filed this report. On the 26th of March, the neighboring country, Bangladesh's 50th Independence Day was celebrated in Tripura through several programs organized at different parts of the state, while the central observation was held at Bangladesh Assistant High Commissioner Office at Agatala with the commencement of hoisting of the country's national flag. In his speech, Assistant High Commissioner Bangladesh, Mr. M.D. Zawayed Hossain, reminded the contributions made by India in attaining Bangladesh her independence. Mr. Hossain said that the Indian government and Indian military forces held Bangladesh in attaining independence. After the father of the nation, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman announced Bangladesh independence on this day, the nine-month-long struggle was started. He recalled that the prolonged struggle that showed the supreme sacrifice of more than 20 lakh freedom fighters ended bringing Bangladesh on the world map as a sovereign country. Meanwhile, to commemorate the Independence Day of Bangladesh, the Border Forces of India and Bangladesh also celebrated the day through a joint retreat ceremony at the Integrated Check Post at Agatala on the Indian side and Integrated Check Post at Akaura in the Bangladesh side.
Officiating Inspector General BSF Tripura Frontier, Mr. D.P. Singh attending the ceremony said, BSF played a pivotal role in the independence of Bangladesh, not only by training the Mukti Bahini Yodhas, but also by keeping the liberation struggle alive by extending logistic support to the freedom fighters till liberation of Bangladesh. BSF has also organized a series of sporting events between Border Security Force India and Border Guard Bangladesh as part of the year-long joint celebration of the 101st birth anniversary of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in the country's 50th year of independence. The events have been organized to further strengthen the ties between the two friendly peace-loving nations, India and Bangladesh. For now, this diary, this is Rina Nongmaitam from Magatala. Now we go over to a Dibrigar correspondent who has a story on a young woman from Jorhat district in Assam who is setting an example in self-employment. A strongly motivated and confident young woman, Nobanita Das, hails from Jorhat district, has set an example in self-employment on one hand and providing livelihood avenues to many unskilled workers on the other through organic farming at Patiagao, located at a distance of 9 km from Jorhat town. It is also a perfect inspiration of unemployed youths and women empowerment in the region. Nobanita Das, who is known as Pothar Konya, means daughter of agriculture field, began her journey as an agri-entrepreneur in her parental plot of land measuring seven vigas and started cultivation by driving tractors and plowing and within a short period she was successful in producing black rice, red rice, joha rice and other vegetables. She later expanded her agriculture plot to 80 vigas to create a history of success and achievement in agriculture. Earlier, she was conferred felicitation by State Chief Minister, Agriculture Minister and even by Vice President Venkwe Naidu. She was also taken to a field exposure trip to Vietnam by the government of India. In 2010, she involved herself in organic farming without any formal experience in it. The product from her field has already generated high demands from consumers here and as an organic vegetables carry better food value and nutrients. Presently she can earn around Rs 80,000 monthly from the sale of vegetables and flowers which was planted on her farmland. Nowadays the other farmers taking tips from her and also growing vegetables on their fellow land. Presently she owns three farms consisting of various types of decorative flowers, medicinal plants, rare plants, ornamental plants vegetable and other kind of paddies, fruit saplings, fish, poultry of variety of birds, chicken, dove, goat, etc. She collected plants from various regions, brought seeds and poultry from other parts of India and abroad. Nobanita's production is totally organic. At present, another small project of Chang restaurant, means platform restaurant, has been constructed in her farm campus at Patiaga, where dishes are available made from her farm fresh vegetables and non veg items. In 2016, the Indian Council of Agriculture and Research, ICAR, gave her the Best Farmer Award at Asham Agriculture University. Many VIPs and district agriculture officials visited her farm and congratulated her for her achievement and bringing laurels to the state and set an example of struggle, passion, self-confidence, courage, and womankind. Pranav Kumar Nath, Dibrigor for Northeast Diary. Now, in this Northeast Diary program, we bring to you an interview with one of the best women footballers of the country. She was born and brought up in Manipur, which is known as the powerhouse of sports. Gangom Bala, the Indian women's football team many times and has been decorated with many prestigious awards in recognition of her talent. She is India's first professional female soccer player. Here is the interview with Bala by our Imphal correspondent JJ Thokchum. Not is the case, Swetaon ko namaskar. Aap hamara personality of the week mein hum Bharat ke ek mashur sports person ko leke aya hai jo Manipur state se belong karta hai. Women footballer Silmati Balaji, Asia International Football Federation ke Best Footballer of the Year 2014 ke award day ke samanit bhi kiya gaya hai. Or Indian Women Football Team ka captain bhi rehe chuke hai. Madam, swagat hai. Not is Daihis ko chunne wale ko, meri taraf se namaste. 
मैडम हमारा सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन ये है मैडम आपने अपना खुद का जो करियर है वो आपने कैसे स्टार्ट किया है मैं शुरुआत में कोई लड़की नहीं खेलती थी अपना डिस्ट्रिक्ट में मैं बॉयज के साथ मैंने स्टार्टिंग किया था और मेरा पापा और मेरा भाई फुटबॉल खेलते समय में देखा था फिर मैं धीरे धीरे बॉयज के साथ खेलना शुरू किया पापा और भैया को देख के भी शुरू किया और मेरा मैं और दीदी भी फुटबॉल खेलना शुरू किया तब से फिर मुझे मौका मिला अपना स्टेट के लिए रिप्रेजेंट करने के लिए सेलेक्ट टू में मुझे सिलेक्शन मिला था अपना अनिपुर रिप्रेजेंट करने के लिए आसाम जी गूगल में हुआ था आसाम जी टू में तभी मुझे अंडर 19 का बैट्समैन चैंपियनशिप था तो मुझे बेस्ट प्लेयर भी मिला था फाइनल होने के बाद एक ऑल इंडिया फुटबॉल फेडरेशन का एक मेंबर आया था तो हम सात लोगों को सिलेक्शन हुआ था नेशनल टीम रिप्रेजेंट करने के लिए ये हम लोग 2002 में जब फाइनल के बाद सिलेक्शन उन्होंने नाम दिया कि दो साल कोई टूर्नामेंट नहीं था इसके अंदर 2005 में फिर हम लोग को रिकॉल बुलाया तो अंडर सेवेंटीन का क्वालिफाई राउंड था कोरिया में हुआ था उसके बाद मैंने नेशनल टीम में रिप्रेजेंट करना शुरू किया मैंने अंडर सेवेंटीन अंडर नाइनटीन और सैन्या तीनों मैंने एक साल में मैंने शुरू किया 2005 में बालाजी आज तक आपके फुटबॉल करियर में सबसे अच्छा मेमोरेबल मोमेंट आप श्वेतों से शेयर कीजिए 2014 एंड 15 मुझे ऑल इंडिया फुटबॉल फेडरेशन ने टू आई फुटबॉलर ऑफ द ईयर दिया हुआ था उसके साथ साथ ऑल मणिपुर फुटबॉल एसोसिएशन में फुटबॉलर ऑफ द ईयर मिला हुआ था मुझे तो बहुत सारे मुझे अवार्ड भी मिला हुआ था और बहुत सारे मैंने स्कोर भी कंशन किया और टूर्नामेंट भी जीता हुआ था मेरे ख्याल से मेरा मेमोरेबल वही था बहुत सारे मैंने कंट्री के लिए प्रॉफिन किया बहुत अच्छा लगा आपके फुल करियर के बारे में जानने के बाद आपसे ये सवाल पूछना चाहता हूँ कि इंडिया गवर्नमेंट ने बहुत सारे नई स्कीम निकाले हैं स्पोर्ट्स के लिए आपको क्या लगता है क्या ये स्कीम इम्पोर्टेंट है स्पोर्ट्स के डेवलपमेंट करने के लिए इस देश में और सब मेरे ख्याल से ये सब पॉलिसी और स्कीम बहुत हेल्पफुल है ये हमारे मोटिवेट करते हैं कि ज्यादा लोग सपोर्ट में पार्ट ले जितना हम लोग सपोर्ट में पार्ट लेंगे उतना ज्यादा हमारा कंट्री में बेहतर परफॉर्मेंस कर पाएंगे इंटरनेशनली तो मेरा ख्याल से जितना भी सपोर्ट करे हम लोग आगे अच्छा से अपना कंट्री को प्रॉफिट कर सके अच्छा मैडम जितना भी खेल है ओलंपिक हो या वर्ल्ड क्लब हो या कोई भी हो इसमें भारत का जितना भी स्थिति है उसको और आगे बढ़ाने के लिए और रैंकिंग हायर करने के लिए आपके ख्याल में हम लोग को जितना भी स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन है उन लोगों को क्या करना चाहिए देखिए मेरे ख्याल से एक तो ये है कि एक तो आपने जो भी स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन की हो अपना हार्डवर्क तो जरूरी करता होंगी तो जितना भी घर वालों या अपना जो देश का जो पीपल जितना भी सपोर्ट करे उतना ही जो मेहनत करने वाला जो प्लेयर से आगे बढ़ सकता है तो हम लोग कंट्री के लिए बहुत सारे प्लेयर्स लोग कंट्री प्रॉफिट कर रही है तो और भी प्रॉफिट कर सकता है तो इसलिए मैं चाहती हूँ कि सब लोग से विश कीजिए और सपोर्ट करते रहिए अच्छा मैडम एक और लास्ट में क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहता हूँ आप स्कॉटलैंड एवेंजर एफ सी के साथ कॉन्ट्रेक्ट किया है तो आपने की वहाँ का बड़ा बड़ा टूर्नामेंट या कोई भी प्रोफेशनल लीग इसी में कोई भी लीग में खेला है जी मैंने तीन मैच हम लोग ने खेल चुका है तीन मैच हम लोग ने जीता हुआ है मैडम नोटिस डायरी को सुनने वालों के लिए आपके कोई मैसेज देना चाहेंगे मैं सबको थैंक यू बोलना चाहती हूँ हमेशा मेरे को सपोर्ट करने के लिए और स्पोर्ट पर्सन को सपोर्ट करने के लिए और ये भी बोलना चाहती हूँ कि हमेशा अपने ड्रीम्स को फॉलो करें एंड वर्क हार्ड यू विल और बी सक्सेसफुल सबको मेरे तरफ से एक ही कहना चाहती हूँ कि हमारा देश में खाली लड़कों को ज्यादा प्यार दिखाई देता है लेकिन ये नहीं होना चाहिए मेरा ख्याल से एक तरह देखना चाहिए जितना भी हम अभी वर्ल्ड में रिकॉर्ड बना रहे हैं तो एक ही पॉइंट है तो मेरा ख्याल से जो जिसको करना चाहती है लड़कियाँ 
अपने जिसको खेलना चाहते हो जो जिसको क्या कुछ भी करना चाहते हो उसको सपोर्ट मिले ये मेरे तरफ से बोलना चाहते हैं ये था श्वेताओं हमारा आज का पर्सनलिटी ऑफ द वीक हमारा आज का पर्सनलिटी ऑफ द वीक है नागोम बलाची नागोम बला भारत के महिला फुटबॉलर है और श्रीमती बालाजी भारत का पहला महिला फुटबॉलर है जो एक फॉरेन क्लब के साथ प्रोफेशनल कंट्री क्लब के फोर खेल रहे हैं थैंक यू नामम बालाजी आपके बहुत कीमती समय को निकाल के आप नॉर्थ ईस्ट डायरी के पर्सनलिटी ऑफ द वीक के लिए आपसे बात करके बहुत अच्छा हुआ है Color-rich paintings following geometric patterns, often depicting the life of Buddha, are a common sight and a key attraction in Sikkim's architecture, especially monasteries. Our correspondent tells us more about these paintings. Buddhist art in the form of thangka painting are pictorial. Religious scholars believe to be used as teaching aid for Buddha's life and teaching at the time of origin. The painted scroll convey a spiritually significant event or Buddhist concept. They are largely hand painted with mineral color and gold dust, while traditional thangkas are also embroidered. Originating in Nepal, thangka today welcome visitor at homes. public buildings and monasteries and are also a popular gift item gantok based thangka artist and teacher tenjing norbu speak about the significance of the art form mera naam tenjing norbu mai thangka painter sikkim ka hu thangka kya hai ki sikkim mein iska bahut important le raha hai in sikkim sikkim mein nahi world mein iska important hai kyunki thangka jo hai hum log traditional arts बोल करके इसको सभी लोग इम्पोर्टेंट देता है कारण क्योंकि ये बहुत कीमती चीज भी होता है हम लोग ओरिजिनल कलर यूज करते हैं ओरिजिनल गोल्ड भी यूज करते हैं इसी थंगा में बहुत मीनिंगफुल बहुत है इसमें मीनिंगफुल क्या होता है कि भगवान हम लोग इसी में से पहचान होता है क्योंकि थंगा भगवान कैसे कलर का होता है कैसे होता है बुद्ध भगवान कैसे कलर का होता है कैसे बैठा हुआ है कैसे है सब हम लोग पुस्तक में से पढ़ के हम लोग उसको बनाना चाहिए इसीलिए हम लोग जो वो बनाता है वो बनाते वक्त में एकदम ध्यान करके उसको अपना मर्जी से नहीं होता है जितना जो जो पुस्तक में जो लिखे हैं उसी में से हम लोग पढ़ना पड़ता है उसका बाद में हम लोग पेंटिंग करना पड़ेगा वो कीमती चीज है जिसमें सब कुछ हम लोग सीख सीख सकता है देख सकता है और पहचान भी हो सकता है इंट्रोड्यूस होता है क्यों इंट्रोड्यूस कैसे होता है की भगवान कैसे होता है क्या होता है कैसे कलर का होता है क्या होता है सब हम लोग थंगा में लेके उसको थंगा में ले करके हम लोग मेरे को जान पहचान कराता है अब ये थंगा तो सिर्फ कपड़ा के ऊपर ही नहीं हम लोग मंदिर में जहाँ जहाँ हम लोग मंदिर है यहाँ पर मंदिर में भी हम वॉल में वॉल वॉल में भी हम पेंटिंग करता है वॉल पेंटिंग भी होता है थंगा में कपड़ा में कपड़ा भी बनाता है ऐसा है कि थंगा क्या होता है कि थंगा इधर उधर ले जाने में भी आसान है गिफ्ट गिफ्ट आइटम में भी अच्छा लगेगा और हम लोग इसको अपना मंदिर का अंदर भी रख करके इसको पेयर कर सकते Strictly based on scripture, thangka visually represent spiritual reality. The central figure is mostly a Buddha or a deity or Bodhisattva of Mahayana Buddhism. To preach up and promote the old art form, the Sikkim government has been operating thangka training school for enthusiasts as well as for craftsmen who produce the art in the state's handicraft. With Saikat Sarkar, this is Jili Ramdulal for North East Diary, Sikkim. कोविड 19 से बचाव और सुरक्षित रहने के तीन उपाय मास्क लगाएं, दो गज दूरी है जरूरी सुरक्षित दूरी रखें हाथ और मुंह साफ रखें एंड नाउ हियर आर सम इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स अबाउट द नॉर्थ ईस्ट नागालैंड इज आल्सो नोन एज द लैंड ऑफ फेस्टिवल्स सिक्किम हैज अ डिस्टिंक्शन ऑफ बीन इंडिया फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनिक स्टेट With that we have come to the end of this edition of North East Diary. Do join us next week to hear more stories from this enchanting part of India. Bye bye.